What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and in today's video I'm going through a highly requested tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to install custom maps for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Epic Games Store. And one of the most requested ones that I had was the Red Dead Desert and it's also one that's very easy to show exactly how it works with. Basically, it adds a new island to the east of the main game island that you can travel to and venture across. It's nice and obvious to see if it works or doesn't. So that's why I've picked this mod as a demonstration, but this will probably work for any other map mod that you're thinking of installing. For this video, I'll have both ScriptHook5 and ScriptHook5.net installed, though I'll show you how to do that in this video as well, and you'll need OpenIV installed as well, and if you haven't got that already, check the description down below for a link to a video tutorial on that. Anyways, heading across to this page over here, we're at Red Dead Desert add-on, I'll go ahead and download this in the meanwhile. Then while this 260 meg map file downloads, I'll go ahead and download ScriptHook 5 as well. So ScriptHook 5 and Native Trainer, I'll click download and then download it from this page by clicking the download button. Then I'll also download ScriptHook5.net, though I doubt you need it for this, but of course it's always good to have just in case. So I'll click download and then click the latest zip over here and download that as well. Then I'll go ahead and open up scripthook5.zip that we just downloaded and I'll head across to my game install directory. So inside of this folder, I have gta5.exe as well as a bunch of other files. Yes, it's already installed, but I'll show you how to install it again. Inside of scripthook5's zip, open up the bin folder and select dinput8 as well as scripthook5 and drag and drop it across into the main Grand Theft Auto 5 game files folder. And of course, I'm using menu, so I won't be dragging native trainer across. Though if you're not using something like menu, then you can go ahead and drag native trainer across as well. If you'd like to learn how to install menu, check the description down below for a video to that as well. Then opening up scripthook5.net's zip, we have all of these files over here. Simply just highlight everything from the bottom and drag and drop it across. I'll be leaving license and readme inside of the zip folder, but of course it's always good to have a look through them. Then the map download has actually finished, so I'll click on it to open it up. Then you can close out of your browser and have a look inside of this RAR file. I'm using 7-zip, but you can use WinRAR or anything else. Inside of the Red Dead Desert folder, we have update as well as readme.txt. Opening readme.txt, we have instructions for installation. So move RDD folder to mods update x64 DLC packs and then add it to DLC list. Nice and simple. So I'll head across to the mods folder over here. And as you can see, my mods folder is empty. We'll be following this tree over here. So mods, update x64, DLC packs. What I'll do if there aren't files here already, I'll go ahead and create them as such. So we're inside of the mods folder. We'll create an enter update. Then we'll create an enter x64. And we'll do the same for the last one, DLC packs as such. So now we're inside of the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, mods, update, x64, DLC packs. Opening up the RAR again, heading into the update folder, x64, DLC packs, we'll drag and drop RDD across. This is the main map file. Then once it's done, we'll head back to the main folder over here, and we'll open up OpenIV to do this last part of the tutorial. And then we'll go ahead and find update.rpf, which is inside of the update folder, update.rpf. Now opening it up, if we click edit mode and click yes, you'll see this red pop up at the top saying you're editing something that's inside of the normal games folder. What we'll do is we'll click copy to mods folder, though of course, if you already have it in the mods folder, simply head into mods, update, update.rpf and open it there. I'm just opening it this way in the main games folder, just so it gives me this pop up to copy it across so we can edit it safely. So when we eventually do play online, it'll be a lot easier to deactivate all of our mods. There we go. Now I'm inside of mods, update, update.rpf. Then we'll head into common, data, and we'll scroll down to the very bottom. Then we'll find dlclist.xml, and because we're in edit mode, we can right click and click edit. Then we see this pop up over here. Simply scroll to the very bottom and duplicate the last line. Then we'll replace whatever text is inside of here, between these two forward or backslashes, and we'll type in RDD or lowercase. Then I'll click save, and we're basically done with that. Scrolling up to the top of the update.rpf common data, we'll have a look at the text file. So inside of update rpf common data, we need to open up levels followed by GTA 5. So levels, GTA 5, and inside of here, we need to drag and drop across this popzone.ipl we saw earlier. 
So having a look at the raw file over here that we downloaded, I'll open up Red Dead Desert, update, and I'll drag and drop popzone.ipl onto something like my desktop. Then I can close out of the RAR because we're basically done with it. Looking inside of OpenIV, we're in Update RPF, Common Data Levels, GTA 5, and this is where we need to add this file. So I'll simply drag it from my desktop into this folder, and you'll see it pop up right over there. Done. Then we're done with this tutorial, we can go ahead and close out of the text file, and we can go ahead and launch up Grand Theft Auto 5 from the Epic Games Store. Hopefully everything should work as expected. Now, of course, this will be slightly different for you if you're using or installing different map mods, though this guide should be more than enough to point you in the right direction. So in order to see what this map mod has done, we need to head far off to the east of the main island and we'll land up in the Red Dead Desert Island. So it'll take a hot minute to load into the game, but once we're there, I'll show you exactly what happens. There we go, now that we're in game, I'll head outside over here and I'll spawn myself in some kind of vehicle to get there. So spawning myself in a vehicle, I'll start heading off to the east of the island, which is in fact quite some way. So I think I'll head into F9 spooner mode. I'll go ahead and grab my vehicle and I'll simply drag and drop it across to where we are going. Though of course I could just simply drag and drop myself as is. Also go ahead and change the weather. And you can probably see it off in the distance over there, but we'll get there soon enough. So there we go, taking myself off across to this island, sort of gave up on bringing the chopper with. You can see it slowly renders in, there's a nice big road across it. If I head up, you'll see sort of how big this island is. And on this far side over here, as far as I know, there is a small town in the center of it. Now, of course, people don't actually spawn here because it's not part of the original game. But if you're playing here, you're probably going to go ahead and spawn yourself in some people and some things to do, of course. And of course, you can play around with vehicles as you might expect and do basically anything you can do on the normal island. But of course, this is a completely new area. And I mentioned that I was doing this tutorial with this mod specifically just because it's so obvious to see. When I said that, I actually meant it as some map mods make minor changes such as letting you enter certain buildings. And of course, you can do basically whatever you want on the island, drive around, spawn in vehicles, etc, etc. But besides that, this video was specifically made around this mod over here, because installing other map mods will be mostly the same. Just make sure you check the instructions to see exactly what files you need to change and what you need to modify. And of course, if you were looking to install this mod, well, hey, there's a nice tutorial for you. If you'd like to see me cover anything else, make sure to leave a comment down below and check the description to find a playlist to all of my other Grand Theft Auto 5 videos, just in case you'd like to see any of them. But that's about it for now. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.